One of the challenging exercises you can do with both legs at the 100 position is called dead bugs. It's a variation of the single leg stretch. And just refreshing your memory about the single leg stretch, I'm going to float one, then the second leg to coffee table, remember? I'm in neutral pelvis, still got that natural curve, not doming my tummy. Single leg stretch is the one where you breathe out, stretch out, breathe in and come back. You might alternate legs, you might do the same leg over and over again. And of course, you also have the option of the crisscrossing legs, which we'll be covering today as well. But for dead bugs, you're going to bring your arms up, basically to mirror your legs. And there's a couple of variations of this. More often than not, you will do the opposite arm, opposite leg. And so as you breathe out, you're going to stretch out. And you know the further you stretch out and the slower you do so, the harder it'll be. Breathe in as you come back, and then you'll go to the other diagonal. So breathing out as you stretch out, breathe in as you come back. You don't have to straighten out all the way if you don't want to. Stretching out a little bit more vertically is easier than stretching out more horizontally. So at the moment I'm doing opposite arm, opposite leg with my dead bugs. When I want to have a rest, as usual, round the clock stretch, fantastic, because it gives you that chance to recover before you then ask your global abs to work extra hard to help you control your pelvic position as you return your feet to the floor. So, this time I'm going to do the dead bugs, but I'll do the same side um, over and over again. Stretching out on the right hand side, breathing as I come back, and now stretching out on the left hand side. Try to keep the other knee and elbows still as you do so. If you want to do the crisscross, I'll do the opposite side first. I'll stretch out and as they come back, then the other ones will go. So it'll end up looking well, a little bit like this. And if I want to do the same side, arm and leg, crisscross, it would end up looking a little bit more like this. If you do start sneaking the knee up over the body like this, you're not necessarily doing it wrong. You're just making it a little bit easier. So long as you maintain your alignment and don't start to flatten through your lumbar spine, that's okay. So you've just regressed the exercise ever so slightly when you do bring the knee up over the body. So that's basically dead bugs. It's a solid exercise. Give yourselves a regular rest. It's not meant to be uncomfortable through your lower back. And take your time. You can always build up to the full leg extension. You don't have to start with it on your first rep. You might start with a smaller movement and go, yep, feeling good. I'll make it a little bit harder, a little bit harder again. And on the days when you're feeling fantastic, you'll go out possibly to the full leg extension.